Hi, my name is Bonnie Seeley and welcome to Footy Notes. So the Italians played the Austrians in a game that was a, an incredible surprise, a beautiful surprise for all people who love the game of football. After having had such a dominant launch into this tournament, the Italians were caught, not caught napping, but were caught by surprise by a very brave and and um, adventurous performance by the Austrian national team. They were not your typical underdog in this game. They played really, really well from from the minute from the first minute. Italy dominated the first half, had most of the ball as as it was to be expected, but Austria found ways to neutralize them and not allow them to to just have their way and cut them cut them cut them open you know they they shaped they shaped up in a very um for for the first time actually shaped up in a in a more adventurous kind of like back four system with Alaba, Alaba playing down the left flank as a as a traditional left back which he hadn't done in this tournament except for in situations of need uh venturing out from from you know being one of the back three into into the left flank and 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 then taking advantage of his strength down the left flank for the for the Austrians. However, the Austrians pressing was really really awesome, and then they maintained. I thought they were going to tire, but to their credit, they maintained that that hustle and bustle and in your face type gegen pressing. But in the second half, what actually started to happen was they were able to to keep the ball a bit better. And I think a little bit of this was due to the, the level of intensity they were playing at for so long. I don't think Italians are used to that level of intensity. Not, not that they can't adapt to it. Anybody can adapt to any level of intensity if they have enough time to get ready for it. But most of the Italian players, you know, almost all of them, I know Jorginho doesn't play in Italy, but, but the majority of them play in Italy in a very slow Serie A league. And so it was nice to watch them, you know, as the as the superpower team be pushed to the to be to the limits and almost beyond the limit by an underdog team that was just basically gonna be resistant and be in their faces and don't let them have time on the ball, but then pick their pockets and take their lunch money and run the other way and try to get a goal on the counterattack. Um, so some of the key moments in this game was basically, you know, it, it, the game went into extra time. And so there were a lot of like, in, you know, beautiful one-on-one -on -one tussles. And if you really want to see all of that stuff, I would really encourage you to go watch this game, but the game was really unlocked in, in extra time, which makes a lot of sense because of the way the Austrian had been approaching the game that don't have a bench as deep as the Italians and they had been playing their socks off. They would be, they were playing off their skins for about 19 minutes. And then Italy started making some changes and introduced young um, um, Federico and uh, Chiesa and, and another sub actually, Matteo Persina scored both the Italian goals um, in, in extra time. But shout out also to Manuel uh, Locatelli, who also played a good game after coming on as a substitute, he was unlucky not to start in this game because he, you know, he made way for Marco Verratti, who I don't think really justified starting ahead of Locatelli. Verratti is a great player and he will probably help Italy, in, you know, in a game to come or so. But he looked a little labored and he was heavily, heavily strapped on, on one of his thighs. So I don't know what that means, but I do think Italy really have their have their stars to thank in this game for for just having a deeper bench uh on a different day austria could have could have caused their major upset here uh i think it's it's good for the tournament that italy did go through but nobody expected the game to go the way it did so you know lots of respect needs to be given to to the austrians for making this game into the spectacle that it was and hopefully this was also the shot in the arm that Italy needs in order to to do what they need to do moving forward and really 
learn how to play against a high press and teams that are going to press them as high as high as um as Austria did you know there's a trophy on the line here so let's see what they do in response but this was a scare for for for, for Italian lovers this tournament has been exciting I'll be putting out more videos check out my channel my name is Bonisile this is footy notes thanks for the support and if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe and share it with friends. Love football, love basketball, and um, share some comments. Give me advice as well on like what you know, what topics I should be um, thinking about and approaching. Thank you so much for your support. Much love. Cheers.